First, though, if you have a cheap idea for interplanetary travel, NASA, all ears right now. A little over three years ago, its Perseverance rover landed on Mars. It's still there monitoring around on the surface of the red planet, snapping pictures, collecting samples of rocks. Now, the rover can beam the pictures back to Earth, no problem, but the rocks are proving to be expensive. So expensive, in fact, that the plans to pick them up are currently on hold. Researchers and engineers had always planned to go pick the samples up, but they crunched the numbers on the plan. And when the price tag came to $11 billion, they decided to pump the brakes. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says pickup is paused until they get a plan that costs closer to $7 billion. Mm. And they're welcoming bids from the private sector. I wonder if parents could use that argument when kids are like collecting rocks at the beach. Yeah. And, like it's just getting too expensive. Right. No. Yeah. Leave them where they are. Yeah. What the key with that is you hold on to a couple of them and then you, you quietly sift a few of them back oh, into the sand. You would mm. never. And usually they don't. Um, Smoke and mirrors over there. Mine doesn't pick up on that. That's such he a weird. He does now that he's watching <laughs> right yeah, now. Yeah. yeah no. like That's such dare a you. weird concept of like if you said to me how much would that cost. Right. I don't think I'd even go to a billion. No. I guess I have no idea what it, what it would take to do that. Yeah. Seven billion is, is a great deal, apparently. <laughs> and if it, if NASA Reduce starts bringing price. its own coffee instead of buying it, I think in no time they they'll be able to afford it. They could definitely turn it around. <laughs>